Um, our next speaker is Sarah Sargent, as I'll just get onto the right page. Uh, she is the Mineral Investment Specialist at the Geological Survey of Western Australia. Thanks, Michael, and a big thanks to everyone in the audience for joining me today to hear about what the Geological Survey is doing to support exploration in the battery and critical minerals space. So the economic growth of Western Australia has been so intrinsically linked to mining and resources over the past century. And the emerging economic drivers around a resilient low carbon future, net zero emissions, and the need for ethical supply chains present an opportunity for Western Australia to provide reliable, a reliable and ethical supply of raw battery and critical minerals, plus expand our role in the value supply chain. And the state government has a number of plans and strategies, or has a, a plan and a strategy to place battery and critical minerals at the forefront of a diversified low carbon economy for the state in, uh, towards the future. And I imagine Minister Johnston will expand on this in his keynote address tomorrow morning, so be sure to catch that one as well. Within this broader state strategy, the key roles of the geological survey are to provide pre-competitive data to attract exploration in order to make discoveries and develop resources. And we also promote the state's resources sector as a world-class investment destination. And this is an area that I'll be stepping up into in my recent role in the mineral investment space. But for um, the next 15 minutes or so, uh, we'll be focusing on the pre-competitive data that's come out of the survey over the last 12 months that specifically will um, assess or assist the, um, the battery, ma battery material explore explorers in the room today. So starting with the co-funded uh, drilling on offer under the Exploration Incentive Scheme, which is one of the survey's flagship programs where we refund up to 50% of direct drilling costs to a capped value to encourage innovative exploration um, drilling in greenfields and underexplored areas of the state. Since it began in 2009, the program has offered over $110 million in refunds to over 1,100 projects, with roughly half of that being taken up by companies. Notable results from the program include the discovery of a high-grade nickel zone at the Beta Hunt underground mine called Gamma Zone 50C, our day of resources drilling of the Western, around the Western Ultramafic unit identified nickel uh, sulfide mineralization at a depth of about 360 meters in an area which had been historically overlooked. And most recently, Linus Corporation uh, confirmed the continuation of rare earth mineralization within the Mount Weld carbonatite to over a thousand meters depth, representing a significant exploration target for them moving forward. In an economic review of the program in 2020, it was reported that for every dollar spent under the EIS program, another $31 is spent in the broader community. So this is one of our programs where we, um, the investment opportunities to make discoveries and to help companies improve their geological understanding of their deposits is also matched, but we can get direct investment out of these, out of our own investment moving forward as well. The next round as well, uh, round 26, opens in early August, so um, be sure to check that one out. This, th this, this round um, follows the Premier's announcement last year where additional $2.5 million is going to be available per year. So this means extra money allocated to the cap and also expanded criteria of um, the deep drill, drill hole drilling as well. So be sure to check out our website for more details. And the Murchison 2021 survey is the latest data release under the Oz AEM 20 WA program, which is a collaboration between us and Geoscience Australia. The state now has 90% coverage of continuous airborne electromagnetic surveys at 20 kilometre line spacing or better. So we, and we're also expecting full coverage um, by the end of the year when surveys of the remaining areas in the east and northeast of the state will be completed by GA and funded under the broader EIS um, bucket of money. 
So the uniform coverage of this AUSAEM data at the 20 kilometre spacing across the state provides the conductivity context for almost 1.3 million line kilometres of AEM data from more than 700 targeted surveys registered in the survey's Magic, MAGIC's data, data repository. And we are already seeing the Murchison data being used to identify EM targets at the prospect scale, with Buxton Resources recently announced plans to investigate a bedrock conductor identified a long strike from their ministry prospect from the Murchison conductivity profiles. And we are seeing other companies, including Talk Metals and Rubik's Resources, using the AUSAEM data collected from other parts of the state to hone in on specific targets to guide their own exploration efforts. So this is really exciting to see our regional AEM data collected at a 20 kilometre line spacing being used in target generation. So I'm really excited to see any results that come out of that. And if you haven't seen this data yet, it's all available for download through the GSWA MAGIC system or Geoscience Australia's e-catalogue as well. Another exciting program was the Accelerated Geoscience Program, which ran over the last financial year and aimed to assist explorers who activity, whose activities were negatively impacted by the ongoing pandemic by delivering new pre-competitive GIS data sets across the state level, plus key exploration areas of the Yulgan. Of the four programs listed here, two were statewide GIS data layers for geoscience and, and critical minerals, the latter of which includes prospectivity rock types um, based on interpreted basement geology, geological observations from our Wairox database, and GSWA and company outcrop mapping, plus some geochemical geochemi fertility um, linking geolo geology alteration and the mineral occurrences as well. And we also had two key areas of the Yulgan Craton as well in the Far East and in the Southwest where new interpreted bedrock geology was generated and also updated geophysical compilations were also included. So just continuing with the um, AGP, some really exciting work came out of the Southwest Yulgan part of that program with notable data delivered, including an updated interpreted bedrock geology where surprise, surprise, we, sat, we saw a lot more, or well, we interpreting a lot more greenstones than previously identified. We also redefined the major tectonic boundary between the Southwest terrain and the you and me terrain along the southwest deformational front of the newly defined uh, corrigin tectonic zone. So this program plus the explosion of exploration activity along the western margin of the Creighton following the Julie Ma discovery has really laid the foundation for the survey to continue working in this area. Um, under the West Yulgan project, which aims to extend the interpretation of the in, uh, basement geology up into the um, rest of the you and me terrain as well. And we're hoping to deliver some seamless interpreted basement geology GIS layers that links the southwest to the you and me terrains this year. And now for something for the, specifically for the explorers or geologists in the room, uh, there is a new portal to allow for improved searching of the geochemistry um, data associated with our drill hole database um, and, and from company information in the WAMAX database. So WAMAX is our depository of 150 years of exploration and, act and drilling activity and represents the ongoing learnings of this industry as to where to drill and also importantly where not to drill and where you can leverage other companies' work to, to um, explore your own geological models. And it's an incredible resource for explorers. So you can now search for the drill hole geochemistry data by location through this portal, such as the tenement, map sheet or a WAMAX report number. And you can either, and you can download as a PDF, CSV or Excel file. And you can also either get the raw assay data or a harmonized version of that data where the data, the column, data column headings have been standardized. Um, but just note the, the data itself is as reported by, by the companies. Um, and the WAMAX team are really uh, keen to gauge how or what industry thinks of this new portal. So be sure to step, stop by our booth and let us know what you think. 
or if you want to learn more as well. We are also looking to develop a regional petrophysics data set to allow for improved interpretation and planning of geophysical surveys. So considering the discoveries of Winu and Haviron in the Patterson were under several hundred metres of cover, the ability to discern between mineralisation and conductive cover units in geophysical modelling is crucial, uh, especially when looking for the next generation of deposits under deep cover. So a pilot petrophysics project is underway between GSWA and Terra Petrophysics uh, and will measure eight, eight properties from selected mineralised and unmineralised drill core highlighted on the map in front of you by the triangles. So blue triangles show the data that's currently available that, of the study that's already been completed and the yellow triangles represent what's coming this financial year. So we hope this data will translate regional geophysics into realistic geological models. And we also have a number of projects in the seismic space as well. Now that we're, um, we've com we're looking to complete uh, the regional or statewide coverage of um, AEM data, we see seismic as being the next frontier we want to tackle. So we have a number of projects in this space, um, starting with the baseline earthquake monitoring of the Canning Basin and Eastern Goldfields um, to look at seismicity around also mining areas as well. Um, the data from these stations, shown in red, um, is uh, released online in real time through Geoscience Australia, and we're seeing a lot of um, uh, news coverage from the ABC picking up all the rumbles that are happening, happening at the moment in the southwest. Uh, we also have 25 seismographs um, shown on the map in purple as part of the SWAN seismic network, which um, will provide understanding of both the seismic structure of the southwest and also the nature of earthquake behaviour in this really seismically active region. And this is a collaboration between um, the Geological Survey, the Department of Fire and Emergency Services, Geoscience Australia and ANU over in Canberra. And looking forward, we're um, coming up, we're looking to acquire passive, 3D passive seismic at 40 kilometre grid spacing across the southwest to allow us to better image the lithosphere and deep crust to give a broad scale look at crustal ar architecture which we hope will increase our definition, or increase the um, accuracy of the definition of the already uh, defined crustal boundaries. There's a lot happening in the southwest, so um, we see this as a really great way of looking for mantle tapping structures as well. And this has just been a taste of the geoscience programs that we are running um, to support exploration in the battery uh, mineral space. So I'd highly recommend explorers and investors come and connect with us on LinkedIn. Uh, we've got, even got a, sub, uh, a newsletter. Or come and chat with myself or my colleague Trevor at our booth um, about how the geological survey can help you moving forward. And thank you very much for your attention.